everyone welcome back to our civil 3d class firstly let me thank you for all your comments and thank you for your subscriptions i am taking note of your comments and as soon as i find time i'll be able to answer all of your questions thank you so much for getting the word out there i really 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 appreciate it and yeah alrighty so on today's video i am going to do a short one i'll be um showing you guys how to take quantities from a road corridor so we all know that at the end of the day um everything that we are designing has to go out for costing and we have to put it in a bill of quantities so on today's video i'll show you guys how to take um quantities for your for your road corridors um, so the first thing that you are going to do, you are going to go under your corridor, corridor tab, you right click and say properties. So previously we only created um, one surface, we only created the road corridor surface because we wanted to show it on our long section. And I told you guys that I normally use the top as my break line. But now we want to show, um, maybe let me close this and show you guys on the assembly. So now we are going to literally come and show every, so when they take quantities, you first have to give them your bulk cut and fill, which is going to be what this um, daylights are doing. So if they are in cut or in fill, it's, to the, it's from the top of the road to your, um, existing ground levels so it will either be in cut or in fill we call that our bulk um, cut and fill and then as soon as they are done with the bulk cut and fill depending on what um, your 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 BOQ is it following sans 1200 is it following depending on the the spec that you will be using your road might you might have to do for every level you might come here and have to do for let me just click this and show you here on your parameters you might have to come and do for pave one pave two base sub base sub selected depending on how many layers you are having here you might have to come and do for each and every one of them so you might find that your your pave one is 150 your pave two is 150 and maybe your pave three is 200 depending on the spec of your pavement so um this might be you might have to take them in quantities of saying from the top of the road to the first um sub base maybe they have specified that it needs to be um uh, stabilized uh, at 98 percent um, md depending on those uh, specs that you have for each layer you might have to show quantities for each layer so that they know exactly the amount of money for for each layer so the first thing that you are going to do you're going to come under your road corridor you right click and say properties um under the surface tab uh, I'm, I'm just going to delete this top one because we were using it when we wanted to show our top of the road on, on our cross section and also on our um, vertical um, alignment. So now I'm just going to delete that. If you come under this one next to the one that says create surface, there's one that says um, create a corridor surface for each link. So if you click on it, you'll see that it has now populated um all the surfaces it's calling them surface 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 and just putting a number next to it so if you drop down you see that the first one is the top you can just come here you just click on it you come and you change this to top so that we know that this is the top of the road we come to the second one if you just drop click on this um add, 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 this arrow button you'll see that when you drop down on it it shows you what this uh, link is for so i'm just going to name this pave one pave one and then we click down you can name this pave two pave two click down i'm gonna name this sub I'm gonna name it base um, 
I'm going to name it sub base. I'm going to name this one sub selected. And then I'm going to name this one datum. Um, I don't need all this other one. I'm just gonna delete them. I only need up to my up to my datum. So obviously it's showing everything that is in here. It went as far as showing you your daylight card and your daylight fill and your cap and all of that. So I only need the ones that I have now. And I'm just gonna say apply. Oh wait, I must just tick and make sure that I've used them as break lines there so that they are showing. I'm going to say apply, rebuild the corridor, and I say OK. So it's rebuilding the corridor. I'm going to go back to the corridor. There you can see that there's a lot of surfaces that are now showing as grid style. I'm going to change them to triangles so that I can delete the, the points that are triangulating incorrectly. So I'm going to... I'm going to delete the lines on this point that are triangulating incorrectly because if you use it like this, you're going to get wrong quantities for, you're going to get wrong quantities for your road. So you must just make sure that you don't have areas where it's triangulating like this so that you get um, right quantities. So I'm going to change all of them to be triangles just so that I can delete the the ones that are not triangulating nicely. So I'm just going to come and say delete line. So the ones that are not triangulating nice, nice. Delete line. Okay. So many surfaces now, so that's why it's taking a bit of time. But bear with me, we are almost there. Okay. How many surfaces? I'm left with two now. Can you see it says two there? So as soon as I finish this two, then we can start. Um, I can start showing you guys how to take quantities for each layer of the row. Uh, I should be left with one. There we go. This is the last one. So I'm just going to delete the points that are not triangulating. And there also. Enter. Okay. So now we have all our corridor surface in here. And I want to show quantities for each. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go under the Analyze tab, click on Volumes Dashboard. Um, let me put it somewhere where we can all see it. I'm going to put it there. So I'm going to start with the bulk, bulk underscore cut or fill. So the bulk cut and fill, it's from your NGL to your top of the road. So your base surface be your top of the road and you're comparing it to your NGL. Top of the road to NGL, you say okay. Oh, it doesn't want me to put the asterisk there. So I'm just gonna say cut fill, okay. And alrighty, there we go. So this is our first bulk quantities. It's just from your NGL to your top of the road so this road you, you saw um when we were designing it that the it doesn't have the vertical alignment is not going up two meters or so it was more or less a straight um the the terrain of the site was straighter so that's why you will see that our cut and fill is more or less on the same quantities we cut in 308 cubes and we fill in 300 379 cubes 
so you come back again and you come here and say you are now cutting to your datum so i'm just gonna call it datum volume or box cut volume because now it's it's your whole box cut so if you say box cut and uh, we are comparing all the way down to our datum and we want to compare it to our row top the reason why i'm comparing now to row top is because we have already um gotten quantities for the bulk cut and fill so now when they have done the bulk cut and fill this um fill and cut you are now at your top of the road so that's now why now i said from top of the road to your um datum uh so this um 2000 cubes that means i must say ngl is my base and compared to because now it's saying everything it's in fill i'm just gonna delete this you see you will see now what i meant by that everything must be in cut so i'm gonna go back and call it a uh, box cut box cut and then um my base surface is my my top of the road and i am comparing it to the datum right is or, or i did the same thing even previously i must just see what i did but everything has to be cut if it's still in fill yeah there we go so my base surface is my top of the road and i'm comparing it to my datum so it, the the whole box cut of this road is 2141 cubes so if they ask you um the bulk quantities for the cut you're gonna say it's 2141 cubes right we're gonna go back if now they want per per layer so let's say they want um from your top of the road to the first 150 miles off so maybe we call it pave one or just pave i don't remember what i call it i think i called it pa just pave and then it's going to be from the road top remember the road top and to pave one so now this is the first 150 millimeters off we call it pave one say okay say apply so now this one is to the first 150 millimeters off. You see, we don't have anything basically. We just, you know, the cut and the fill, they are literally nothing to that first 150 millimeters. So if we go again from the top of the road to the second pave. So now if you go to the second pave, you're not going to take it from the top. You're going to take it from pave one. So we're doing per layer, pave one to pave two. It's another 150 millimeters. You'll see that now we are having 524 cubes. We'll now be cutting 524 cubes. So I have a feeling that this pave one is the same as top of top of um, road. I think pave two is the first 150 millimeters chances are this one is top of road i'm just going to delete it it's going to chances are it's top of road so the first 150 millimeters is this pave two and it's 524 cubes you go back again and you're now saying you're doing your base or your sub base you let la you label them as you go and then you're going to say that your top of um your top of uh data will be now your pave two because previously we used it as our bottom and then from pave two we go into our base so we compare pave two and our base and you're gonna get there 524 cubes again because they are all 150 mils so you go and go at the end of your exercise when you add your pave one pave two sub base 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 selected whatever layers how many what however layers that you will be having you realize that when you are done your total quantities should be this one like your total quantities between the the layers when you're doing the box cut it should amount to 2141 cubes because your datum is your last layer of the road um alrighty i hope this exercise will help you to be able to do your your quantities quantities extraction from your corridor 
and also we have um let me just save this i want to show you how you can display it also on your road so let's say they want to see your your bulk cut and fill so if they want to see your bulk cut and fill you just come here where it says bulk cut and fill you right click and say surface properties um change the surface style to elevations we want to show it in elevations and then under analysis tab you just come here and you want to show it in two in two uh, bands so it means we are cutting 800 mils and we are filling up to a meter right so what you, you do is we cut 800 mils we're filling to a meter and then you say apply say okay so you will see that the red represent let me just go back to the surface properties i just want to see the red rep represent the cutting and the purple represent the filling so you come back here and um I'm just, anything that is on just want to show the the bulk, bulk cut and fill surface so if you click on it and you go under um, at legend it's going to ask you if you want to add directions elevations slope slope errors contours user contours or watersheds we want to add elevations and we want it to be dynamic Dynamic means anything that you change on your on your table, on your road, the table itself will automatically also change to whatever you've changed here. So at the moment, we're showing the minimum elevation, the maximum elevation, the area and the color. But the main aim of having this table is to show the, the volume. So I'm just going to click on the table. You go to your table properties and you say... Um, table properties you drop down on this one and you look for the one that has volume which is this one if you if you drop down on yours and it doesn't have the volume tab all that you do on your table you go under table properties and you go under edit table style this is what is going to appear let's say yours didn't have the volume i'm just going to delete the volume tab let's say you went down on table properties and you couldn't find the volume tab you can come under here and you add it manually so you go you double click there and you type in volume just gonna be in meter cubed and you say okay and then you come here you double click under column value again you, you drop down this properties arrow and then you come to the one that says surface range volume and then you click here so that it appears on the other side you say okay and you say apply so you'll see that if now the volume tabs appears okay you must just make sure that when you type in your meter cubed it matches how they've put the other one but yeah the that's how you you do it if your your volume tab is not appearing automatically when you come under table properties then you go under edit table style and you edit it into that one um alrighty uh, i hope this exercise has helped you now you know how to extract quantities from your road corridor until next time bye